Yo, what is up my guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now, if you're new to the channel, go ahead, just like all the other legends, hit that thumbs up. All right, today Jesse's gonna show you how to put body parts on cars that shouldn't have body parts on them. All right, we're gonna make maphrodite cars. Now, a lot of you may know this already, but there's a lot of you that don't, all right? Everyone's going to put their police cars in and get the two sets of fucking sirens on the roof, but Bro, there's a lot of other cars you can do too, all right? Jazzy's gonna show you just a few. I'm not gonna spoil it and go showing you all the cars you can do. If you do want a list, let me know in the comments and I'll send you a message. But otherwise, guys, just have some fun, go through, see what cars take extra parts that shouldn't have them, and fucking let's get it going. All right, so all we gotta do, guys, is these two jobs, all right? There is three jobs here, but the third one is where we will be making our cars, all right? So all we gotta do is start up an organization or MC club, whatever, and then go and do these top two jobs, all right? That's it, they only take five, 10 minutes each, guys. That's it, you can do them solo. All right, so we'll go quickly do them. All right, my jobs are done, now, when we come back here, guys, the third job will be ready, all right? You'll see that it says done, done, and the third one will be open, ready to go. From here, all right, before we start it up, you wanna go and make sure you've got all the cars that you wanna test or try and put fucking extra mod parts on in any of the Eclipse Towers apartments, all right? You can go through as many as you want, fill them all up with cars, because that's where we'll be going. All right, once you've done that, we're gonna go and start up this third mission. All right, guys, just start it up. Confirm the settings and start it on your own. Now, I'm not sure if this is necessary, guys, but if you press left on your D-pad, you'll get Sasanta's car, and that's the one we are using. All right, once you've got that, just hit confirm. Now, once the mission starts up, you're just gonna hit pause and go and mark your Eclipse Towers. I don't think that's where the Eclipse Towers is, but anyway, we know where it all is and head on out there. Now, when you get here, guys, you wanna hop out. All right, I'm up at the Eclipse Towers. You wanna hit your interaction menu, go to support crew, and you'll see this little menu. All right, you wanna walk back down to these, the end of these pavers and then hit quick fix. All right, because if you do it out there, it'll end up down the road somewhere. But there we are, we got the blue circle just out the front. Now, in we go. Just go in and pick your first car, guys, and drive it out. And what we have to do is give it a little bit of damage, all right, for it to be able to be fixed. Now, I'm using the ruiner here at first. As you can see, guys, it's got the two sunroof glass panels on the roof. All right, we drive it into here and boom, boom. Look at that, now we have the glitched out roof. All right, so this has given us the full 255 body style. To save it, just drive it straight back into the same garage you drove it out of. All right, next up, guys, we've got this dune loader, I think it is. All right, give it some damage, and we're just going to drive it into the blue circle. And once you stop, it will automatically upgrade to the full 255 body style. Let's go. Actually, this thing, fuck, I'm an idiot. I think you can actually put this on in the workshop. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It's, well, it's good to try any cars, all the cars. The rat loader is the one where the back, the arse end will disappear. But as I said, guys, I'm not gonna show you too many cars. I'm just giving you an idea of what happens in this glitch. All right, so next up, I'm gonna go and jump in the Rumpo. Now, if you take the Rumpo to the mechanic shop, you cannot put these mods on it, all right? So this is giving it a full upgrade that it usually can't have. So all we want to do, jump out, give it a bash, jump back in and drive it into the blue circle. And there you go. Look at that. We've got the full roof rack and we've got the two spare wheels, bro. 
All right, you can't usually get that like that. All right, so as you can see, guys, here we've got the cop car with the one siren on the top. Give it a bash, drive it in, and when you come back out, you get two sirens. All right, you get both the sirens inside each other, basically. All right, guys, next up we have the festival bus. All right, if you have one and it's got no stuff all on the top, we all know we need the speakers on the roof to be able to use this bus as a glitched fucker. So give it a bash, drive it into the blue circle, and when you stop, guys, you'll get all the DJ gear and the speakers up on the roof. All right, now this, to save it back in the Eclipse Towers, it's a little bit of a fuck around, all right? There's a little bit of wizardry you have to do, but you will get it in there, guys. There we go. Now, not only does this glitch give you full body parts, all right? Remember, keep in mind, it does give cars glitched roofs, all right? So you, I've done all my Buccaneers. You can glitch the roof out with the interior colors. How nice. So yeah, guys, oh, and also the Mesa. All right, don't forget the Mesa with the full body style. But if you like today's video, guys, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the Jazzy family, make sure you do. I'll see you guys in the next one. Yo, watch yourself. Back up, I. Yo, watch yourself. Back up, I. Yo, watch yourself. Back up, I. Yo, watch yourself.